What's up, Goon Squad? It's your boy back again, Jody Magic Fest Keith, with another viewer submitted deck list. One of my Patreons has requested that I play Lance, the deck I'm most known for. Here we go. Very happy to be back at it. Um, if you look at this list, it's it's similar to uh, the most recent uh, Grand Prix Top Eight list with the three Sylvan Libraries main deck, the extra removal, Molten Vortex, Punch and Fire, and Barbering. With the one of Pyroblast main deck, the big difference this list is uh, that I've made is to the sideboard. I don't really care for the Black Splash. Like playing a Bayou in my sideboard is pretty unexciting, and uh, I've missed the Ancient Tomb whenever you're planning on the Sphere Lockout package. So instead, I cut the two Thought Seasons for two Thorn of Amethyst, and I add the Ancient Tomb over the Bayou. So that's the big changes. I have always been a big proponent of playing the Ancient Grudge over the last Grossing Group. So that was a uh, you know, welcome, welcome, uh, uh, it, it's nice to see that people are picking up on that. But yeah, we're about to get back to it, playing the lands, love it, love it, love it, getting ready for, uh, let's move this wasteland down here, getting ready for Star City Games Baltimore, where I'll be playing Legacy for my team, so I gotta start working on Legacy more, you'll see more Legacy this week. If you enjoy these videos and you want to keep the legacy content coming, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell to be alerted when new videos go up. And if you want to support the stream financially, you can do that best through one-time PayPal donations, joining my Patreon for the extra perks, and buying some Goon Squad gear. All links down below. So let's get into it, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. What do we want constructed? Is that vintage uh, cube still going? Oh, no, this can't still be going, huh? I'm just curious, because I love me some Vintage Cube. No, they just didn't remove it. Okay. We're looking for the old Legacy Cube. I know y'all miss me, Legacy Cube. <laughs> I know you miss me, baby. I'm back. What's up? What's up? I had to mess with the new set this past week, uh, Ravnica's Allegiance. Let's see. I actually need to get some perns because I did a lot of drafting. Quantity. We gotta open these until we get some perns. Five perns. Oh my god, look at this a Domery. And a JSVP. Holy smokes. That's pretty good. I should probably sell that Domery. Holy shit. Yeah, alright. Well, I hate to start the video off with me selling a Domery I just opened, but I should sell it now since it's new. Dragon Skull. Five points in every. We need we need more points than that. Hook it up. Why is there only five in each? Did they make a change to the chest recently? Are they just guaranteeing that you get five points, which is like pennies, really? All right, I need to investigate this. Magic online chest. What's the changes? 117 2019. Slot 1. Curated 20%. Modern Era Rare Mythic 50%. Slot 2. Variable play point 30%. 5 play point 0, 0. You're guaranteed to get at least 5 play points, but you might get a variable amount 30% of the time. That's what I'm looking for is a variable amount. They don't want us going infinite no more. Is that what's going on here? Because these cards are pretty worthless. Okay. Where's the variable amount? 30%. What is this? Carrying out? Containment Priest, that might be something. Hollow Fountain? Alright. I got some pretty good rares in here, though. And then we get a Poly Raptor. Just because we open our mouth. 
Well, I got enough points to do the thing now. There's bonus points. So we got a couple of mythics. Let me uh, try and sell some of this stuff to these bots. Card buying bot. Trade me. We open our chest one at a time too, because we're not savages. FM and now I am to watch the legacy lands with Jody. Really great Friday night spot. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Take 279 tickets, huh? Oh, it's trying to buy the mana trader shit. Let me get in this uh this league real quick. Um We get in the league and then we get to open the trade. Card buying bot. I need to update the stream decker too. Let me get on that. What's today's date? 18th? Twenty nineteen. Here we go. All right, so that's updated. Snag a trade card buying bot. Do I have a trade open already? Okay. This way they can't buy the land stuff. We got these foils. We need to keep these foils for pauper because you can't rent them from mana traders. Is that at the ferry? Holy smokes. Anybody want any of this stuff on moto before I sell it? Let's see. I gave it to you at the bot price. We gotta get rid of the treasure chest because we, we want to keep the treasure chest. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, go hard. How hard? Okay. We sell this stuff. Anybody want any of this stuff before before we uh, get before I get rid of it? You can see it. I got like a palace jailer in here. Containment priest. I need to keep these foils though. Foils number four. What's up, Matt Collins? How you doing, boo? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Am I losing weight? I don't know, man. I don't keep track of that shit, bro. I'm feeling good. That's what matters, right? Got green stuff. How much does this stuff even cost, man? How is this only $46? We got duels and all kinds of shit over here. Let's see. It's a ferry. 15. Makes sense. Nexus Fate. 10. Okay, containment priest, underground sea, seven dollars. Yep, Zeus, yep. Mock sapphire, six bucks. Godly shrine, cheap. Crab. Phoenix tempt. Natural order. Uh, palace jailer. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay for our mana traders with tickets this month. So 
I think we can do it. As they said, how many how many ticks did we get? Did anybody want any of this or no? Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Um, take forty six tickets. How about Dahmer, y'all? Is that on the list? Not on the list yet. All right, submit. You want to buy more stuff? Well, listen, my chests are not for sale. Let's see, collection. Here's what we need to do is manage this. This is the way you manage this right here. You clear your sell list. Select all, remove selected. Cards. Quantity one. I only want to sell the cards. I don't want to have to remove them chest again. Select all. Move that down here. Now, where's the foils? Is this alphabetical? No. Thought it would be. Guess not. Sort. Convert mana cost. Blue four drops. Let's go. Gotta keep these foils. I don't want to have to remove them later. There we go. There's one. Why is this stuff not in here? Got more foils in here somewhere. Thought I did. Guess not. I don't want any of these cards. Why? Wait, I need these basics. Mm -hmm. I need these basics though, don't I? This is terrible. I need these basics. Oh, all the basics are going to be in these lands here. Sort by Converted man cost. All the lands should be on the left. We gotta keep the basics. What am I doing? I'm uh, just tidying up my collection a little bit. I'm selling, I'm trying to sell this Domery that I just opened in a treasure chest. I need to keep, I need to keep my basic lands so I can, because you can't rent basic lands for mana traders, so. I gotta make sure I got my white bordered lands because people love playing against white bordered lands. Got it. Get my is lands up. And then we're gonna play some lands. But this is also gonna be on YouTube so you can see how to manage your collection poorly because magic online is tough. So we're dealing with bots and stuff. It's kind of annoying. That's the nice thing about Arena is that everything's like built in. Let's see, we got foil in the. I don't want to sell my foils because. See these foils right here. I want to keep these foils. All right, tight. I think we got it all figured out. Let's see, there's Domery's up in here. Domery costs four, don't it? in a gold section at the bottom I just opened this thing we want to sell that so we gotta we gotta sell stuff to people sell list see so we made we curated a list of stuff to trade that way 
they won't take our treasure chest or nothing like that. So you don't want my diamond, is what you're saying. Four tickets for this stuff? Sure. And I need the tickets because you can pay for mana traders with tickets. So if you want enough chests and stuff, you can buy the cards, sell them. And then you can pay for your mana traders or most of it. You know, if you just keep grinding three twos. Like we live the three two dream over here. So that's how I pay for my mana traders. The, uh, <clears throat> let's go to the, the board. He wants to buy a Domery. Buying six six bucks might be better than that. Foil a lot. Selling for seven. Why can't I get in with somebody that's like? Uh, Maybe manager is what? Maybe manager is a buy for me. Search my collection. This is like the bot system on Magic Online. This is how it works. This is how the sausage is made. Dealing with bots and stuff. It's kind of annoying. You still searching or what? See, I don't want to sell to a random person because then I'll get change, and I can't do anything with the change. You want to, you want to like opera, you want to mess with the same couple bots. That way, your change doesn't get lost in the internet. If you're pinching pennies here, like me, I'm a. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a full time streamer. This is what I do. This is what I do full time, and uh, you know, so it's penny pinching, you know. <laughs> you know, they don't. It's a great gig. I love it, <laughs> but you got to be like uh, mindful of the uh, the change. <laughs> I'll say keep it changing no more. <laughs> now nah, I'm joking. I'm a big tipper. My whole family and myself has been in the service industry, so I guess this isn't gonna happen. I guess this isn't gonna happen. Uh, let's see. How about I just make it, make it, make it, make a. Make a, make a uh, post can I just make a post human selling Domery six six bucks man it's a fair price maybe somebody else see my my post submit my post now we just play Let's just play. Let's play magic now. Is this this is what, what we came to do here? All right, sweet. Play a match. We're in the queue. We're playing lands. Demir, how you doing, baby? You set that alarm. You got up on time. You're the reason I came to the stream today. <laughs> I had to go run some errands, and I was like, shit, man. I got so much stuff to do, and I got stuff to do tonight. And I'm like, man. And I looked at the clock. I said, I need to go get a haircut because I desperately need a haircut. And uh, I was like, but if I go to the barbershop, I don't know. I go to a hood barbershop, so it's kind of like, you know, the motherfucker is packed on Friday. I don't know if every barbershop's like that, but I know the barbershops that I go to, Friday's tough. Everybody's trying to get a clean cut for the weekend. And uh, most of the barbers do, you know, they got their own clients and shit. So I'd have to do a walk-in on a Friday. That was going to be a two-hour ordeal. Plus the, the the guys that cut my hair over there, mess with a couple of barbers over there. They they do take forever, you know. I mean they do a good job, but motherfucker, it's 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 like an all day deal. It's like we go in a barbershop. Plus it's like culture too, you know. Like it's an experience too. So it's like shit, man. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot the shit in this barbershop for like two three hours. I said, man, if I do that, I'm not gonna have time to stream. Uh, what time is it now? Maybe I could get in there and get out at best in an hour and a half. 
you know, at very best. So I looked at the clock and I was like, fucking Demir is waking up at noon. I told him noon to two. So I was like, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it for Demir. Okay. I can dig this. I can dig this. I can keep this. We got, we got exploration. Might fetch a forest here. Okay, so if you draw a card off the Sylvan, any one of your three Sylvan's cards, if there, if any of them are life from loams, you're forced to keep them in your hand. So if you dredge a loam and then draw two, you're gonna have to pay for those two cards. Now you can't put the loam back. So you're locked into having the loam as one of your three Sylvan cards, and the other two you'd have to pay for. Now if you dredge two life from loams, and you draw one card, you get to only I gotta troll him, man. <laughs> All right, change my mind. I'm getting a red source. And I'm gonna waste him here. I had to hit him with a little troll. Which, which wasteland you want to use? Your best behavior, y'all. Mm. Now, if you have you dredge the first loam and you hit another one, you can dredge the second loam, and then you can hit another one. If you dredge the third loam, you got to keep all three of them no life. Shake it, sugar. Lucy lose. That was a pretty good draw. Definitely want to waste them, I think, but I might want to punish a fire of this. Alternatively, we can punish a fire of the land world. He'll pick it up, though, is the, the kind of the problem. I think we're just going to waste them. Like, if he goes cradle. Natural order, it's like eight, three creatures and shit. All right, so we want to find a grove. I think we're going to punish and fire this wirewood. Or we could punish and fire the Lanterworld at this point since they don't have the mana to replay it. Well, never mind, I got the mana to replay it. Go get a bayou, please. Okay. Yeah, this is like priority number one right here. We'll play another one drop. Okay, it's getting scary, y'all. I'll keep fetch a tiger. I don't think we have to dredge. We could double fire. I think we just take a draw here. Oh, that gamble's pretty good. It's pretty all right. I think I'm just gonna gamble up a uh, tabernacle and hope we we don't discard it randomly. But you know how it goes. Yep. You're the best, Magic Online. Probably should have shot this elf on the upkeep. That might have been a better punish of fire. This, it's like, it always happens. Whenever you gamble on Magic Online, it's more likely to discard the card you go get. I swear it's a bug. I swear it's a bug. I don't have any numbers to support my claim, except for hours and hours of, uh, you know, playing, playing Magic Online. Please don't have a Heritage Druid here. That would be the worst. We know he's got the two-minute elf. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, this is scary. Alright. He gets two draws here. We're gonna kill this cradle though and play a tabernacle next turn. So if we're still alive, I think we'll be okay. We Alright, they they failed. Yeah, Wesley Snipers. What's up, baby? I got your package in the mail. I gotta send you that the soul stack list, bro. Look what I got. Look what Wesley Snipers got me, man. Goon Father, biggest fan right here. Look at this. You know what that is? That's a foil Japanese signed Moment Vortex. You cannot get this signature. The signature is impossible to get. Wesley Sniper is the only person who knows how to get it. So, it's pretty insane. So we're going to smoke this down. And then I think we might punish for this elf. We'll see how he pays. Or maybe we could just jam a Sylvan here. Jam a Sylvan ain't bad. We are at 10 though. So he's going to lose 3 elves. 2 elves. I'm going to leave with the punish for. See what he do with this tabernacle. Nagles out everybody. Get your knackles out. Oh, no. That's a rough ride. Roll. Be a second cradle. We get aggressive on this, I think. Dredge the loam. How many bases they play in that deck, you think? Yeah. No, we don't have a chasm, so. It's going to be a little hard. Without a chasm, it makes it quite difficult. I think uh, Pyroblast can go. <laughs> Although nowadays, Elves decks have Assassin Trophy at the board, so you got to be careful. Is that Archon a legend? Nice. Poor Tabernacle. Should I play EE -E and Buried Ruin to deal with TNN and Mongoose until I have the Tabby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go with the EE. -E. You really need to get that Tabby, though, baby. It's like must have for the lands deck, you know? Uh, what, what what else do we want to cut here? Not Punch of Fire, Molten Vortex. I think Bajuka Ball can go. Our primary win con is going to be the 2020. We're going to try and slow him down with Tabernacle. I think Sylvan's probably okay. Ancient Tomb Spheres. We're on the draw. I think the Krogus can go. I don't know what that Archon do. You play Magus Tabernacle? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why does it keep the mazes? 62. We cut one of these. We got three gambles. We gotta keep the punch of fire. Uh, I think maybe we we'll just play three spheres. Nah. All right. Mold of six. A 
What it do, what it foothills, what it do. I think I'm getting a little punch of fire here. Got the port gone. Spend the board on him. Okay. Okay. It's looking like it's going to be a natural order. This is a good draw. I guess I could have played the sphere, but I really want to punch it far here. After he pays for this burst lore. Alright, you got a lot of creatures to pay for here. I guess we could have punched it far at this and he couldn't pay for all these creatures. Could have just done it on our turn after he fetched the dryad. I knew this thing was dying. I don't think I'm going to pick up the Punisher Fire though to expose it to a surgical. Alright, so he's going to have to lose his Nettle Sentinel. Maybe we should try and pick up the punch of fire now. If he's got the surgical here, then we'll look stupid, but. Alright, tight. I want to get it in before the draw step. You redeemed some doubloons. Let's see what you did. Good games. Good games. Land's great. Tabernacle, awesome. <laughs> Straw man, straw hat man. All right, straw hat man. I accept. I accept your doubloons, Uber Mikey. I ex accept your doubloons, and I will straw hat. Don't straw man me, bro. Cause I got a straw hat on. You get what you pay for. Get what you pay for. Straw hat man. <laughs> what up, the four horsemen? How you doing, baby? There we go. Now we in business. Yeah, I was having a lot of fun with new cards yesterday and the day before. When it comes to Legacy, though, it takes a lot to make it in the Legacy world, so. It's a blue deck. True the Forest, okay. Showing the port. So we got to turn two twenty twenty if we want it. Obviously, we have to contend with this island or this double island.
Start with the crop rotation because I'd rather have the Sylvan. Alright, I guess I get the Dark Depths. And I'll play the Sylvan. Because if he plays a White Source, we don't want to make the 2020. And I'd rather afford him on the upkeep. Let's keep him off back to basics. Alright, we got it all out there. Yeah, I think it might. I think it, I think it might. I mean, they have new cards. You can blight. You know. So we can pour it and make the 2020. It's pretty good. And then we get a, dr a dredge, or we get a shuffle off the, the Verdant Cat, so we're not forced to dredge away that exploration. Should have fetched on the upkeep, though. Wait a minute, we can't actually port and make the 2020. I think we'll just chill. Let him play what he wants. All right, snap's gonna get down. But we might dredge a turn on the bar bring, you know. Don't play a white source, please. Shit. Alright, so we're going to gain 20 life here. Then we'll get to catch a wasteland, I guess. So we attack for 20, get our life. Hopefully they don't have a force. So we want, what, stage, depths, wasteland? I don't know, maybe we want the tabernacle. We get to play three lands. I guess presenting another 2020 is not bad. Stage depths, wasteland. It's gonna have to force that. Start with a waste. Stage depths, waste this. It's good that it was a blue fetch. No, it's a different Tommy. <laughs> this is West Coast Tommy. Smiling through the rain. Okay. Uh, I chose to shuffle. Makes sense. I think they're just dead. Yeah. All 
right, I want to go with the plan. You can go with the plan if you want. Probably stone blades, so I want some ancient grudge, I think. This can counter blue spells. I think we can get rid of the gambles because we want full. What else can get rid of? Maybe Bajuga Bog. Uh, Caracas can bounce V click. That's it. I'm off it. We need Tabernacle since we don't have Chasm to deal with True Name. I don't know. I like Sylvans in this match. I think I'm going to cut one Loam. Cut some Dark Depths. Maze is good against them. Merrily Gents, I was hoping we were playing Ice Station Z. I don't know what that means. What is Ice Station Zebra? You right out there, Tom? Oh, fucking breaking shit. <laughs> what else? Uh, I guess the Vortex ain't bad, but man, we got a lot of cards we're bringing in here. Should probably cut one more land. But I like all these lands, so... Maybe there's not one particular land that we want more than others, so we should cut a couple crop rotations. But we do have Ancient Tombs, so... Need to be wary. I feel like he's going to attack my graveyard, so Molten Vortex is less good. I don't know, maybe the thorns are too much. Yeah, let's do it like this. Probably could have went down to one uh, Dark Depths. Because we want to prison them. You're calling to me. I wish I could put notes next to people's names so I know who is who. Yeah. Yeah, or just change their name. Or your perception of their name. Basic force, so it can't be wastelanded. Come to the sphere. Miss Vintage Cube already, yeah. So slow, yeah. All right, got a sphere. Surgical Malone, but kind of don't mind. I feel like he's surgical on the end step. trying to choke sphere him anyway. I'm surgical. I always got it. I guess we could have just played the sphere and been like, it's gonna be really hard for you to surgical. 
or really do anything. Well, V2B costs four right now. We'll port the island on the upkeep. So he plays something. Tap this to turn off regular counter spell. Could get a sphere down. I like tapping this and then choking. second main phase I think we're gonna play the tiger that he knows about and I hope he doesn't have spell pierce whoops I almost clicked the wrong spell here Force that? No, nope, no force. Okay. So now, if we get the sphere down, hide from a disenchant. This is gonna be a true name. Maybe it's Council Judgment. Okay. Unfortunate. Gotta stop in their girl step. See what they do. Please don't beat to beat me. There's a B2B now. Oh, I'm stunned for it or Yep.
left in the, the mazes, which is good. Dark Depths would be all right. Draw a step. Tap this island. Go through the turn. Man, keep drawing lands. Should have kept that fetch line probably in case we drew a tracker. We got snap guess or something. Okay. I feel like I'm brainstorming here. We can go ahead and copy another port. We need to defend ourselves, though. That's something we need to do. What do you target with this? Judgment. Okay. Good thing that was after the fetch. So we need a maze or a dark depths. Great, but cost four. We can't beat a B2B here, but that's okay. this up. Let's go move the equipment over here. No, just come true name. Well, that's, that's, that's annoying. I don't think we can win now. We need to, we need to do something here. I don't know what it's going to be though. Can't loan anymore. This on here, that'd be seven. And we're done. Save the clock for the third game. 
All right, let's see how we're gonna manage this third one. Um, Actually, come with a couple grips. And we don't want to play the sphere game. But the choke sphere game is a good way to go. We're already cut a bunch of fire. No, he's got surgical. Then we cut cut two mazes, cut, cut one maze. Since we do have the K grip now, we have K grip and H grudge. What is up, Clarion? Jody, a while back you played a four color deck control deck on Legacy. How did it feel? You did insane with it, but was wondering what you change if anything. Currently on the list, and have a good matchup against pretty much everything except green black depths. Yeah, um, yeah, I remember that deck. Deck was uh, I liked it. I liked I liked it a lot. I got the video up on my YouTube. I'm pretty sure. You check out my YouTube. You can watch me play it again. But uh, I'd have to look at the list to see if there's any changes I wanted to make with the updates to Legacy. I'm gonna be grinding a lot of Legacy in the next uh, couple weeks, so I'll have a better idea. Guess we're playing this game. I think he's got a plow. Should we should we risk it for the biscuit? Right, you got the plow. You got the plow. Right, clear the way a little bit for the Desbian stage. If he's got to fetch a tundra, then we get the wasteland him. Now you can fetch a planes. Fuck. Fuck. Mm. That's terrible. I think he's got two plows. Sick rip, y'all. Sick rip. We all in over here. Hope all your disenchants and all that bullshit's in your hand. Just be dead, please. Yes! Sometimes you just gotta fucking steal one, man. People wonder, how you win this match right here? Fucking gotta steal on them, baby. Sometimes you just gotta do a little thieving. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Had to fish the planes. Oh yeah. What's up, baby? I keep yeah, you gotta get your Mario game up. <laughs> Come on. Gotta play the new Mario on uh, Switch yet? Oh, here's what happened. We went turn one tracker off of Ancient Tomb, new addition to the deck. Not to the deck as a collective, but to this version of the deck. Turn one Mox Diamond, Ancient Tomb, tracker. He goes Flood of Strand, Fetch Planes, Planes. And we had a, all we had was stage mox wasteland in hand after that. They, they had the plow for the tracker. So next turn we just drew a crop rotation, which is better than drawing a dark depths. Just the most insane draw, crop rotation. Draw a crop rotation, float the two out the ancient tomb, crop rotate it away into a dark depths, play the stage, copy it. Uh, we probably shouldn't have played the stage before we crop rotated that. That was the only flaw in the way that we played it. We should have ancient tomb because the thing about it is is like why give them the extra information they might think that we're just like uh, I guess we could cast choke without crop rotating so you know they can only assume 
but don't give them any more information. What's my list look like? I'll give you a handy dandy list right here, inevitable. What's up, baby? Sands a little slow. I want to play this, so I'll keep it. We can go turn one Molten Vortex. It's not bad. We could also we get a turn one. We can uh, gamble if we want. We got a couple crop rotations. I like getting the Vortex down early, though. Might change the way our opponent plays, you know. See what we're up against. Your match? Yikes. You got exploration. Mana pond? Yikes. You got a lands mirror, huh? Nice many sphere vex? Because we're just trying to sphere them out post board. People want to come with surgicals and shit. We just want to play Rashad Import Sphere Southern Library deck. Punch of Fire, Bajukabog, Dark Depths, Maze of Death, Rashad Import. Okay. Okay. How can we beat that? From the 20, I think we can do it. Put the 21, fuck it. We got a maze right here, though. That could be an issue. Actually, we got a port for the maze. So we're going to crop rotate into a Thesbian stage at some point. So crop rotation doesn't do it for them. Maybe I should uh, put the colors here. Pick you back off of that. Fetch land, huh? That'd be too much. I guess we'll port the maze. Hopefully, they don't have Caracas or crop rotation because they can crop rotate the uh, Bajuga Bog away. We'll port this, then we'll just port back. Port the maze back. Mm 
Ooh, let me draw one. So we get them one. If he tries to defend with making his own 2020, then we'll crop rotate for the. Uh... Okay. I guess. Maybe we should wait and see if he ports us first. He's got a punch bar in hand. It's one of two cards. We draw a land, we gravitate into a red source, and then shoot him. I think we can get rid of this port. See, because we're just going to bounce this. That, that was just the better way to do that. Let's see. Mirror match. We want Tyler's Tracker. I think we want Ancient Grudge. We're definitely not going to want Power Blast. I think we want this Ancient Tomb. Some K Grips. Something like this. Definitely don't need that. We can cut a punch of fire. Molten Vortex is okay. I think we can get rid of the Maze. Cards we don't want. Get rid of some dark depths. Get rid of the tabernacle. Get rid of a couple one more. Um, could be the maze. Could be Molten Vortex. Probably not, though. Because we won't get run over by a tracker. Definitely want to keep that maze for a similar reason. But I want to keep some number of Punch of Fire to kill tracker, an early tracker. Something like this. No, 3 7 is great, man. That's what makes post border games very doable. That's why I like all the spheres in the board, too. It's because you come with a Sylvan and just jam a bunch of spheres and then naturally lock them out of the game. Okay, uh, we have Crop Rotation, one of the best cards in the match. We have Cross and Grip, also pretty good. We got no acceleration, no loam. That's, uh, I mean, we got Mox Diamond for acceleration, so. Let's 
Let's see. Let's see if they got the gamble book for our opponent. Port him up. What's up, HC Fox? How you doing, baby? I don't know why the songs stop playing. Why are you gonna stop playing songs? You just heard the song, didn't we? Rising Canopy, huh? Okay. He's gonna try and twenty twenty me. Pitch the tiger already. Oh shit, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> kind of. Lead with the verdant here. Pass the turn. This frenzy is going to mess us up, though. Jeez. Copy the stage, probably. We import the stage. Get the fetch line out of here that way when we play the stage we can copy. We'll be the uh Okay. Can't tell if we played it off the top of the deck or not. Makes their loans bad, but it's a good card. Got three cards in hand. Just like no land drop. Proper two for a stage, that's really weird. Port their port, and then they'd have to port us. Mm. 
probably should have played the fetch land, the fetch the forest. I probably should crack the fetch land god of this year. Okay. Can't play the cards in their hand, so. Maybe we got a crop rotation on top. I think maybe we should ancient bridge that thing. But we can wait till next turn and do it if we want. <sighs> hmm. Maybe we fetch the forest and copy with the stage. What is our plan here? I don't really want a crop rotation yet. I want to. Um, Fetch. It's a good draw. You can bog them off this. That's kind of weak. Maybe I just play the maze. I kind of don't like bogging right here. I guess we can port the, the burning cat in response and we'll go fetch the forest. Could just let it get tapped too. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Since we've got the Sylvan in play, he just absolutely has to K-grip this uh, Sylvan here. Chalice for one, okay. We're gonna ancient grudge that. Make it 2020. Best turn. We want to leave the green up to Ancient Grudge of the Chalice if we need to. The Chalice on one keeps him off of crop rotation. And gamble for Caracas. Okay, play one land already. They can't play another land. They can't play an exploration. Get more land. I think they're just dead. It does have pseudo vigilance. You're right about that, which is actually good in a depths mirror because you can attack and then untap it after damage, to where you can block because Maze of Ith is easier to interact with. GG. Nice lands mirror. Still got it. <laughs> I still got it, y'all. <laughs> still got it on the lands mirror. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that follow button. Do consider subscribing. I do do this full time. Uh, another way to help support the stream is by visiting my sponsors. You can rent cards from Mana Traders using Goon Squad 2G4 at checkout for 15% off your first three months. You can also buy cards from Bearded Dragon. I'm part of their pro team. Type in Goon Squad, capital G, capital S at checkout to get 10% off their already competitive prices. Uh, also, if you'd like to represent the Goon Squad at your next live event, you can do that by picking up your Goon Squad gear. All links down below if you're watching on YouTube or I just dropped them in chat. So, I appreciate you. Keep, keep the lands coming. Stage on maze didn't work. No, because his stage was tapped because we ported the stage on his upkeep and they ported us back. Which we let happen and then the chalice came down. That is another way, HC Fox. Another way to support the stream is to play legacy decks. 
with mana bases that died a wasteland. For sure, that definitely helps the cause. <laughs> oh man. We got a crop rotation. We got two punch and flyers. Which could be good or bad. We got multiple sources here. I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to lead on the Misty. I mean, two punch of fires is kind of bonk, but might be okay. I gotta find out what the uh, when the challenges are. See if I get enough points to play in the Legacy Challenge. Not challenge, but whatever the, the point accumulation payoff is. I'm not good at keeping track of that shit, but I need to get better at it. Start with a Misty. Misty, Misty. It's a white deck. It's a new well deck. This could be tough with no acceleration. Exploration is kind of what we're going for here. I think I should double fetch Tiger and then Lone. To ensure that we'll make our land drops. There's no shelter to in this deck. There's no psych land of any kind in this deck. Uh, drawing a Sylvan would be good too. Uh, as a matter of fact, we probably should have just cracked this fetch on the upkeep. Alright, let me close out this Nightbot because it's acting funny. Let me get the tunes back up for the live viewers. Did I just draw a wasteland uh, exploration? I'm so good at this game. There we go. The dream is definitely alive. We're gonna fetch the forest here, and then loan. That way, when we fetch to get a red on the next turn, we can cast. Since that's gonna be the last land we play. This either ball is going to become annoying, but we just need to establish a uh, graveyard and then a barbarian ring, so we can't be sent to prelate it out while punishing fire. And so we want to hold on to this crop rotation. So we just want to get ahead with the loam for now. We're going to waste that wasteland, I think. Yep, sure. You want the mole vortex or the mox? And we might want to hold the punch and fire to see if they play a mom. If they play a mom on the end step. So next turn is looking like waste your land, loan back the lands. Maybe waste your land, fetch, loan back the lands. It's probably what it's going to be. And then hold up punch and fire and then pass the turn. If they vol in the mom, shoot it right away. If not, upkeep with the vol trigger on the stack, we can punch and fire this revoker. kind of the plan that's just kind of the plan we'll be looking at uh, dredge into uh, you know things like tabernacle grove of the burn willows barbarian ring what was the pick molten vortex okay dredge 
Should I do slum? There's the growth. That's good. Start with a fetch land, I think. Go get a taiga. Along with the three lands. Gonna play one more land. I think I'm gonna play the wasteland. I'll pass the turn. Upkeep, trigger on the stack. I'm gonna shoot this down. So they're gonna have a hard time getting this pre-laid out and protecting it. We just gotta make sure the board's clear to moms. Well, actually, the moms don't matter because we're, we got crop rotation for barbarian ring. You milled vortex, okay? I still wanted to kill it. There's going to be a greedy ass wasteland here. Loan back all three. Then maybe we'll play the grove and The wasteland. All right, that's not a failure. In step, I'm a bunch far that way. You flick wisp this. The Thalia effect won't be in play for our turn. Is the other Tog out yet? No, it's in our hand, yeah. Tabernacle, play port. That way, if he falls in something, he's going to be jammed on mana. If he doesn't, then. Turn. Get that tabernacle back later.
I think we want to get this now. If he has prelate in hand, it seemed like he would have cast it. Oh shit, that was a mistake. Tabernacle Wasteland Wasteland. And we'll discard one of these fetches. Mirror Crusader? Yeah. Gonna have to pay for the creatures. That means it can't play any one or two drops. We're up at 30 seconds right now on the clock. First land for turn. I think in my end step, I'm going to mirror pursue this, or I'll do it on their upkeep after they pay. But we had to kill the Thalia on our turn so we get that loan, man. We got an auto yield to this punch so far. Magus of the Crypt. That's a good name for that. <laughs> Except that it's a spirit. Okay, things I want Tracker, Ancient Grudge, probably K Grip. Maybe Ancient Tomb to get the thing going faster. We definitely don't want the Power Blast. It's kind of an aggressive deck. We could maybe cut one of these Sylvans. Uh, Bajuka Ball can go. Cut a Dark Depths. Kind of missed Drop of Honey. Maze is like the best land. Croc is pretty good. like this I can even see maybe cutting one mox diamond say so revoker and shit but we do have ancient grudge Just got to build a big board on them. That's the big plan. Like we were building our board right there. Drawing that exploration was insane. Yeah, I mean, I could see cutting one mox, but what would I keep in? You know, Sylvan or Flick Wisp is kind of annoying, but if we have Loam going, then it's less of an issue. Sucks that we don't have any removal other than the removal that we have. 
like no drop of honey, no Coe's Lex return. We got no green mana, no ghost quarter to get green mana. Here's a mulligan. You got so you got this enchant right there. Shit. Could give me a tag, I guess. I guess we could have crop rotated for a. T uh, could have floated. I, I definitely wanted to guess that loan, though. Too bad we bored out that bulb, though. Trying to get this tracker down. Let him do that council judgment deal. I think we could get the ancient tomb. I mean, this could be some damage, but. Trying to get this tracker running. Attacking. You attacking? Oh shit, this guy's a pro. Land for that Rashad import because that's annoying. There's a good swing. There's a good swing. By the Detroit bailout and how in a meeting Ford employees were throwing out names to not use. My favorite was rolling. It's also why we didn't fetch the forest. Here.
I don't know if we're going to port here or try and crack a clue. I think I think we probably just port the port here. Keep small four in case he's got something crazy like Cataclysm or and it keeps him from like forcing us to make the 2020 on our upkeep. Ancient Grudge, huh? I don't have any way to punish this. Get that Grove bag if we want. Definitely wanted to play that. Um, Ancient Tomb, does mean Stage can do that. I don't know why I drove that long. Well, I guess I could have tried to hit a Wasteland was the idea. Nothing wrong with dredging it there. Interesting. Thirteen. Copy the uh, port. See what he does with this wasteland. He's got no cards in hand, so make achieving 2020 is uh, kind of big. Actually, we could copy the Caracas. That wouldn't be bad. We're we gonna bounce that value. Actually, I want to keep this up just in case. Because I think we got enough here to, to win the game. We got, we got a good amount. We tap two and tap the copy the port. What are we doing? We're getting the these lands back. We gotta play two lands. It's probably gonna be like Grove Dark Depths or maybe Maze Grove. Uh, tough picks here. 
and we want to keep we want to keep the the Rashad port up. So if we we'd have to ancient tomb to do it, I think, or maybe we just copy the uh, forest. We want to port this port next turn. So why don't we don't copy anything? Play the grove and the maze. Probably shouldn't port. We can wait till the end step to port. Ports. I'm not playing the Thalia. Okay. I still want to dredge to try and find a wasteland for this. Huh. Maybe copy the forest. Maybe copy the port. Should copy this port because the OG one. Where my wasteland at? Barbering? It's not bad. Wait a minute. We could we could possibly make this 2020. No, not with the ports. I mean, we got a big board here, we, and we got to just leave the ancient tomb up to protect our loan from graveyard hate. We got the ancient grudge in case they have pithing needle. Yeah, that's just game. All right. Well, I'm eight ten four everybody, but the the, the the three two dream is dead. Rip three two dream. God, God, I love wins, man. What a beautiful deck. Had to disenchant for the Sylvan, though. Got to give him up for that. Yeah. It was the nail in the coffin. You just got to grind him. That's the one that did it. We were about to take him off of everything. And we had the K-Grip in case they had a rest in peace. We could have, like, cracked the clue to get back the... Uh, the loam, and then go ahead and uh, K grip the rest in peace. Nice. <laughs> Call child protective services on that mom beats. Oh, that's crazy, man. That's about as crazy as. The deal you get for renting on mana traders. You can use Goon Squad 2G4 for 15% off your first three months. You can play anything you want to play. They have packages for everybody. Check them out. Support my sponsors helps support me and doing what I'm doing, providing as much legacy and modern content as I can. A lot of people are playing the arena, so you don't get much of this anymore. So if you want to keep the content going, make sure you do that. Also, if you uh, one of the better ways to support the stream is by joining my Patreon or subscribing to the channel. So please consider doing so. You have free subs if you have Amazon, and you also uh, get access to the the subscriber discord 
well anybody could join the discord but there's some special channels that only uh, subscribers can be a part of as well as getting a sweet badge tabernacle emote once we get partner we're gonna get more emotes uh, I can keep this this looks like turn to 2020 Chancellor Annex well yikes Reanimator, y'all. Is this the reanimator that's gonna kill the 5-0 dream? It does it does accept Bezo books. Target himself. There's a grizzle brand. Yikes. God, I wish I had a Mox Diamond, man. Would have been good. I wonder if we should try and fight this, or... We don't have a Chasm, so... I think, I think we might be able to beat this, maybe. They have Chancellor. It would have got countered. Yeah. Which I normally miss that trigger because it just pops up right here. And I'm always talking in the stream and I miss it. And then I just cast my shit into it. Let's play this land first. We can just straight Caracas this, or we can maze it. I like Caracas, probably. Because it taps for mana, in case we want to try and make it 2020. And uh, I think we're gonna get rid of the forest. gambling for for something next turn we might have to get a loan this game it's possible now if we get the maze it's better against the chancellors if he let's get rid of the forest probably should have played the wasteland I didn't see this turn two coming So we're just trying to hide from a uh, tide. Uh, what's the name? The tide card, the blue one. Tide spell tower. It's all about tombstone stairwell. Do you think we're the rent is buying a stairway to heaven too? <laughs> Possible. Uh, Yeah, five. For the Brand Chancellor. Dark Grit. Okay. Fuck, man. He had the Entomb. Oh, it's Ashen Rider. That's uh, just as bad, I think.
Think of therapy. Yeah, we're so dead. Lost my Caracas like a hoe. There we just chill. Huh. I mean, we block, he's going to get the gain seven. Could gamble for a maze. But then if we gamble for a maze and they just call therapy. Probably should have gambled for the bog the turn before to get the therapy out. It's difficult. I mean, if we made lays, what do we do? Attack and then Ash and Rider blocks it. I'm just going to assume that he knows what he's doing and I'm going to concede. This might be a big assumption though. If we, if we would have got a loan, we would have been alright. Because we could have loaned. Put the lands out here and then make the 2020 to block the Grizzle brand. And then he has to kill it with the Ashen Rider or leave the Ashen Rider back to block. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we can wait, but here's the problem with waiting. Okay, if we wait, he attacks with Grizzlebrand. Okay, <laughs> start with that. And then if he attacks with Grizzlebrand, then we, uh,. Plus, he could just pay for the creatures and attack. That's another reason I like the Tabernacle. But if we wait and just hold up the 2020, then that means we, we block the Grizzle Brand. He gains 7 and goes to 12. Right? And then they just cast another Exhum or Animate Dead or whatever. We know they got two Animate Deads in hand, so. Then they get the Grizzle Brand back with 12 life. Yeah, it's Gamble for Maze or Concede, I'm pretty sure. I like the I like the ladder. No, there's no chasm in our list. If you look at the list, there's no chasm. Chasm would be the same thing as maze in that it would be uh dying to uh the Ashen Rider. Because you could just sack the Ashen Rider to the Cabal Therapy. I don't know, I guess we could play all this. Maybe a couple of trackers. I guess he's got Magus. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got this card in that deck too. Cut 
phone should fire. We don't have any cheap interaction. Guys being copy Grizzle Brand. There we go. Didn't see that line. Power Blast can go. not losing Do they maybe keep one punch of fire in or one molten vortex in probably one molten vortex so we can kill a uh, although punch of fire is a little bitter because we can get it back. I don't know. Maybe we want more Vortex. Because, like, I'm worried about Magus the Moon out the board. We could cut a land. There's a land we can cut. I don't know which one it's going to be, but it's not Maze or Caracas or Tabernacle. It's not Dark Depths or Bog. Maybe it's Barbarian Ring. 61. I think we need the loan. Gotta cut something. Whatever, I'm gonna cut a gamble. That probably ain't right. Definitely ain't right, but we gotta lock something in. We gotta lock something in. We gotta keep all the crop rotations. And it's pretty bad unless uh, they have natural discard. Like if they just have faithless looting. Like, ugh, it's such a long shot to try and just bog them. I love three seven SWAT guy. You ever cast seven on turn one SWAT guy? Next question is, did you ever lose that game? <laughs> I don't think I'll lose when I go turn 17. Like, they could just reanimate on turn 1 also. Now they might come with this card, in which case the bog looks good. I think we should mulligan. Alright, well I'm keeping it this time. So I can't ignore oh, one time uh, this room's empty. This makes our crop rotation a lot worse, but Between you and me, it destroys the discard spell. You're right about that. Yeah, y'all send them up, man. Send them up. We need prayers for this 5 0. Gonna be. You don't know me anymore. I don't want to shuffle it alone back in. I guess it's neutral. The fetching. Again. Here we go, baby. Here we go. They're not going to do anything. I want to draw an exploration. Uh -huh. Is it going to be? You don't know me. Anymore. 
How's it gonna be? How's it gonna be? Oh boy, here we go. Okay, Is that League of the Dead? I need to draw a Wasteland. I might just go get a Wasteland. Take this man anyway. I'm just gonna do. He's fetching. That makes sense. Couldn't fog them first. Lake of the Dead. Oh boy. blow a crop rotation right here. I mean, what else am I saving it for, though? I want to try and prison them out. So... six spheres in this deck so this is the plan hopefully he doesn't have uh, reanimate Doesn't look like he plays Tide Spout, so as long as he doesn't get the Dash and Rider back this turn, we'll be okay, I think. Maze of us, welcome draw. I like Bajuka Bog here. Passport. Feeling great, but not feeling bad. Now we get the loam. Got five cards here. But then we get loam back to Wasteland and play it. And then pour it off the Wasteland. That way we have the setup to waste our own bog, loam it back and bog them again. I don't have to worry about the Ashen Rider anymore. Now we can play the stage. I think we should probably draw here. Because we can stage copy and port. And if we draw a sphere, it's insane. I guess this ain't bad. Yeah. 
unmask himself. He's got tight spot also. Okay. Zoom, so he's got anime dead and archetype. Huh, I think we're gonna take a draw still. That's pretty good. We can crop rotate away. Huh, I think we should play a land first that we could threaten the trade here, which he might do. How would that look? We can uh, tap the bog in the wasteland to crack the clue. We have to crack two clues to make it a trade. Yeah, I think we just play the maze and chill. Probably should play the mana producing land here. Oh, we got an ancient tomb in the deck. No, but we gotta go get a uh, dark depths here. Let him cast Amy dead if he wants. I'll send it back. I don't really want to send it back because if I send it back, then how are we going to 2020? I think he's got an instant. I'm send it back. Tough. I think I'm gonna crack these clues here. Making this 2020 seems a little scary. I think I'm gonna crack these clues and get the spheres out and shit. Although we should try and go for the throw. We know he doesn't have an instant unless it's in tomb or dark red. I want to crack the clues. All the festival lands are gone. Could go get the tabernacle. That'll keep him down on the spells. Uh, tie our man up a little bit too. Then we can also loan. We could get the ghost quarter. It's bad we played this land already. this clock a little bit. Nah, we want to port him. Just let him take the five. 
best turn. It's fine. What's up? What's up, King Art? How you doing, baby? Yeah, just tap this down. I need a man accelerant pretty bad. In a turn, crack the clue. Could make the 2020, and then he's gonna have to play an instant. I think that's probably okay. Or we just copy a port. Or we just crack a clue. Got to deal with this mana here. God, this is so hard. I'm doing it. He's going to have to block this. Why don't I get rid of the bog? Crop rotate this way. For the, uh, I guess maybe we get Caracas. Or you go score and start go score him. Get back the bog, the stage, and the depths. And then bog him. I guess I should have ghost quartered him. No, we definitely wanted to bog and have another combo in the chamber is probably okay. We could double ghost quarter him next turn. Jokes on you. Got all lands. What a game, jeez. How do we win with this mulligan? Gave him a little information, but
to try and work on clock. You see him? We fell behind on the clock pretty hard after that first game. In case you thought you could GQ them out next game. Got in that third swamp. Nice C's OP. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to. I mean, that's what that was the whole point of the ghost quarter is fishing. Hmm. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Like that with Mark Stein in my opener, in case he has Chancellor. This ain't it. My finger to the law. I want port, probably not. No Chancellor. Rider, huh? Twenty four power. Trying to make a 2020, I guess. I don't fucking know. Ghost quarter. Try and ghost quarter mount with no enchantment. It's gonna be really hard to do. Ugh. Let me just play stage. Yeah. Except the knackle will probably just die. Also, find a Magus that would probably buy us some time. Probably race that with Tracker. Fuck. He's got Ashen Rider. That's terrible. Qual Therapy is annoying.
That's true. We can ghost quarter ourselves, but then we'll be down on lands. I'm not doing it. Killing me softly with his song. Softly. Oh, he targeted himself. Okay. Now he gets grizzled for him. Yikes. Grizzle Brand, Chancellor, Archetype. Now, if he gets that Archetype in play, that's going to be trouble. I'm going to reanimate this. Oh, man. With no Chasm, this is going to be really hard to beat. Why wouldn't he. Oh, okay. He's down six cards. You can draw another seven if he wants. We need an exploration. But we also need a Caracas for this. Pitch the archetype and get it back. Yep, rip. Rip. If we had a chasm, we could maybe do something, but he's got a full grip. Ten plus seven. Seventeen. Yeah, we just did. Damn, we could be making a twenty twenty right now. I don't think it would be good enough, but because if we blog, you just reanimate this. Got a bunch of hex proof stuff going on. Terrible. Killing that exploration on the first turn. We were about to go score the shit out of him. Killing that, that exploration at the beginning was tough. Shit, man. We need that 5 0. Reanimator though, it's funny because I don't ever see that deck live. I always see it uh, online plenty. I don't know why. All the cards are cheap. You can play anything you want, and that's the life you want to live. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, that's true. I was way more dead. I was all kinds of dead, all kinds. Maybe we could have mulligan a five. But like we couldn't beat the Entomb without a crop rotation. He had no discard, so. I think maybe he was playing around crop rotation was the whole idea. By starting with Ashen Rider. You know, keep the Grizzle Brain in hand. Nothing wrong with that. He already had Grizzle Brain in hand, you know, so. Yeah. What's up, Barra? How you doing, baby? Did we just break lands? I think we might have energy field. Cards never go to our graveyard, so I got a deck like that. Dark Ritual and Tomb Reanimate if you're not going to jam. Fearlessly. That's true. But like, it's a decent hedge. They already have Grizzlebrain in hand, you know? It's like Grizzlebrain alone isn't going to kill us. I mean, most of the time. They'll draw into whatever, but I don't know. I think it was a fine play. 
Like, the only way we could fight them is with exploration for the most part. So. Man, I almost got that 5 0. Crazy. All right, well, I'm going to say bye to the YouTube viewers real quick. All right, YouTube, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hide your kids, hide your wives, but tell your friends where to find us. Uh, hit the notification bell to be alerted when videos go live. Also, if you like the content and you want to uh, see more of it, the best way to do that is by supporting the stream through one-time PayPal donations, joining my Patreon for the sweet perks, or getting you some Goon Squad gear for your next live event. All links down below. One love. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one.